It looks like it's finally here, boys. The pre-wipe events for 12.12 have started, and for all of those that watched my previous video and doubted my prediction of the 12th of December being the wipe day, it's not looking too good for you boys now, is it? This is just a quick video going over what a pre-wipe event is if you've never seen one before, and what is happening right now in Tarkov. So briefly, a pre-wipe event is something that Battlestate throw on before every wipe, usually lasts about a week, sometimes can go on a little bit longer, but never longer than a couple, so bear that in mind. And they usually change a ton of cool stuff, starting with certain things that happen in raid, for example, they can change how many scavs spawn, how hard the scavs are to kill, or even changing the scavs completely and turning them into raiders, and that's sort of what's happened in today's start of the pre-wipe event. And later on during this pre-wipe event, closer to the actual wipe day, they will make everyone have max level traders, everything from the traders unlocked without having to complete all those annoying quests, and they'll eventually make everything cheap as well. This has sort of become a tradition now, they do it all the time. But that also means if you are planning to sell anything, you should do it now because the selling value also goes down in price. For example, a graphics card can go for 200k to therapist, that might go down to 2k at this pre-wipe event. So if you've got them in your inventory, sell them now and that goes for everything but at the same time prices will also be really cheap for example you could buy a thermal scope for a couple thousand rubles rather than a couple hundred thousand it makes everyone run really chatty gear and it's a lot of fun and then the wipe hits and everyone goes back to bare bones and early wipe game starts and i am happy again because that is the best time in escape from tarkov's wipe cycle so that is a pre-wipe event in a nutshell. Really fun and exciting, especially for newer players to allow themselves to get immersed in what the late game feels like if they haven't had a chance for that already. But what is happening in Escape from Tarkov right now? Well, it has just started, so more things are to come as we are used to by now. But at the moment, we got a message from Skia saying, Hello, Soldier Boy, I got news for you. As always, not a word to anyone, I am only telling you this because you are my most beloved worker. So, our local kinpins are preparing some sort of meeting, judging by their behaviour. My mates say they're switching places with each other, like on some sort of night watch. So you better be alert, keep your eyes open while strolling around their places, and if you get into trouble, do not blame me. If you aren't one for Skia's cryptic messages, then I'll give you the lowdown. Scav bosses that are on most maps have changed places with each other. For example, Gluhar does no longer spawn on reserve during his pre-wipe event. He has moved over to labs, which previously never had anything but raiders, and Gluhar spawns with a 70% chance on labs. Tagilla is no longer on factory, and instead his brother Killer has now replaced him with a 40% chance. Sanitar has taken the place of Rashala in customs, and that is with a 46% chance of him spawning. Sturman no longer spawns on woods, and instead raiders are taking his place at a 65% chance. Sturman has moved over to shoreline for his sniping antics, and that's a 52% spawn rate. And Rashala, easily one of the easiest scav bosses, is now on one of the most annoying and popular maps reserve at a 48% spawn rate. Tagilla has swapped with his brother completely, because whereas Killer is on factory, Tagilla is now on interchange and that is a 45% spawn rate. And cultists are spawning in night factory once again, just like the Halloween event, and that is a very low 13% spawn rate. So yeah, a big old mix up and this will last through the pre-wipe event, and more changes are to come. If you are looking for what future things are going to come, look for the pinned comment down below in the comment section. I'll update that as and when I know with every bit of information in the form of an easy to read list for you guys. If you do have any questions about the wipe, then don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with Escape from Tarkov. Once it wipes, I will release a ton of guides for how to start the wipe, early game quests, early game looting, and tons tons more as soon as I get the chance. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and keeping up to date with my channel. As always, I love you so much, have a great evening, I'll see you in the next video.